We miss you guys. Hello guys, we handsome sausages. Hey! Hello everybody, we handsome sausages, and today we're reacting to Woods. Well, yes. not exactly Woods, it's a Gemini song mm. called M.I.A. featuring Woods and Camo. Camo. Mm. Um, Gemini, wow. Been, uh, been some time since I heard the name. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, uh, Groovy Room, right? Wait, Gemini is Groovy Room? Uh, well, it was uh, from the uh, the company that Groovy Room made. It was, I think I think Gemini was like the first uh, artist there. I think it was called Area or something like that. Oh yeah, like uh, okay, you mean like Gemini is the artist? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, I, I, I thought I thought you meant like they are the Groovy Room. Oh no no no, uh, no not so at all. Like, no. What, what? But yeah. very close. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. It's right. It, it's right. Uh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Gemini. Um, I, I, well, I know that uh, his artist name is Gemini because even in Korea it's Gemini, yeah, Gemini. But the word itself in English can be Gemini. Yeah. Gemini. Uh, pronounced Gemini as well. A lot of people say it that way. Mm. And it makes sense because his name is Jemin. Oh, okay. So, so Gemini, right? Like mm. when we call in Korean, mm -hmm. when there's like a stopping consonant, mm. like we say Jemin, mm -hmm. Gemini. Mm. So that could work too. If, I, if it didn't have the Korean um, artist name, uh, I wouldn't have known. I would have probably thought it's Gemini as well. But it's uh, Gemini. And uh, it's featuring Kamo and Woods. Kamo, I think, is a uh, yeah, rapper. Yeah, she's a, she's a rapper. She's a rapper. Yeah, well, she, she does singing also, but I guess mm -hmm. more likely... I, uh, I think primarily she was defined as... Uh, yeah. Introduced more often as a rapper. I think she was in like a, a couple of shows and stuff like that. She's pretty, pretty big. Her, her, um, her songs are nice. Yeah, yeah, I think I know. Not not too well, not as much as Gemini or Woods, but and she so, yeah. she mostly sings in English. Oh, I yeah. am. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't even know that. Well, well, I'm I'm curious to know how they all like how the three of them would work together. But knowing Woods, he can be part yeah. of anyone, any yeah, group, yeah, yeah. anything, anywhere, and that's it. He'll just make it shine. You know, it's like a blank canvas. Exactly, and he can just like match it, match the energy yeah. with other artists because he has that much like ability uh -huh. he has that much tank yes. uh, that he can do different things depending on the situation so super curious what this is gonna be we're gonna check this out but before anything this was another patreon suggested music so thank you everybody who's supporting our channel over at our patreon page if you want to have a say what we react to next get us your content and all those lovely stuff check out our patreon page the link is in the description below now let's get to this music let's go I guess like soulful hip hop maybe I don't I don't know what's what it's gonna be but it's gonna be pretty cool. Check it out. Three, two, one. Clay. Click. Mmm. Right away. Guitar. Ooh. Oh, there's the woods. Come around me. I like his like husky whispering yeah. voice. Very breathy too, right? Yeah. Like, using a lot of air. Everything around me oh. oh, that's clean. Okay, okay. So full section sang by him. Oh, <laughs> is this a song by Groove Room? I kind of get their sense. Wow. Her voice, man. Shit. Wow. Oh, that face, too. Listen to how the vocal interacts with the guitar. Ooh. They, they didn't come Yo. out with the bass. Ooh. Oh, I'm so looking forward to the wood section too now. Just, just nailing it. 
Beyond. Oh, and that, yeah. that break. Ah, uh, catch you over here. Do you see how delicate the vocal is? Yeah, the piano. Oh. With the piano thing at the back. Wow. Wow. Yo. Yo. <sighs> Wait, did the kick sample change at last or? <laughs> no idea. This song is a vibe. Or was it all distorted like that? Okay, it was already distorted like that. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think the the, the drum changed that much. Dang. Oh, no. This song is. I and I know I say this all the time, but I really mean it when I say this song is sexy. Yeah. I don't actually know about the lyrics, but the song, yeah, definitely is not sticky, but sticky. If you know what I mean. No. And on top of it, when there's the guitar lines coming in like that, yeah. with R&B, with 808 bass. It's surprisingly guitar heavy and dominant. Yes. It's Since the too intro. dominant. Yes. But it works. Because, you know, like to for this kind of song to have and maintain that kind of groove, mm. it shouldn't feel maximalistic in any way, right? Mm. Everything yep. should feel empty a little bit. Rhythm, guitar, bass, mostly. Every, and yeah. voice. Exactly. I, I, I mean, it, it's okay if the drums are kind of dividing the beats uh, with with the hi-hats and everything, obviously. But guitar like that, I don't know. It, it, it could sound excessive in what they're trying to do. It could collide with their direction, but not at all. It actually plays together with the vocal. Yeah. If, you, if you hear, right, there's a lot of melodies, top lines that are yeah. uh, in line with the guitar melody. And they almost sing together, yeah. And mm. it almost kind of harmonizes and and pushes the song forward mm. together, and it creates that drive in the song where yeah. it, it is laid back, but you also are leaning forward a little bit. It's it's got that aggressiveness a little bit because of the guitar interacting with the vocals. Mm. I like that. One thing I was surprised is that usually this type of beat tends to have more like a jazz guitar sound on the guitar. Whereas mm. this one sounded like an acoustic uh, nylon guitar. Almost. Uh, yeah, almost. Or it might have been like electric guitar, but very, you know, low on mix. For sure. But yeah. it, it really sounded like an acoustic guitar, like probably like plugged in acoustic maybe. But then in that case, well, nylon or, or more like a uh, steel because uh, it did sound very... Um, I guess steel. Yeah, it does sound very trebly. Yeah, it's a steel. Because yeah. nylon yeah. would, be, would have that roundedness to the sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my bad. Like, um, I, I was thinking just like, I was imagining myself <laughs> as a steel and I was just so ni nylon. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think steel, yeah, would make sense. Well, actually, let me hear it again. Hold on. Yeah, you, you know what? I, I just listened to the guitar again and I do see why you could have gotten them mixed up because I thought it's very trebly and all that. But it does have that roundedness. It does sound quite nylon as well. Um, but I, I think... It, it's got to do with it, the mix as well, of course, because of, yeah. of the EQ. Uh, but it is it, really it hard to tell. It, mm, it and probably be also because mm -hmm. I, I don't feel like it, there's only one guitar. Oh, yeah, the, there's more. There are two guitars. Yeah, one of them is definitely more steel-like, or at least a clean tone electric guitar, mm. neck heavy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. But there's that uh, classical guitar like roundedness to it i wouldn't i still wouldn't call it a, a classical guitar by no means mm -hmm. definitely not but it does sound like it because of the eq yeah mm -hmm. let's talk about their vocals yeah because that's like the main selling point almost because yeah. it's with like the start of gemini's <sighs> like whispery 
a very breathy, raspy, like you said, yeah. sound. Yeah, raspy. Yes, but it's he not a lot of breathing. But it's not like rough. You know what I mean? No, 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 not at all. Yeah, it sounded like there's there's a lot of energy to it. Like, cause especially when uh, Gemini's part returned after Wood's part. I expected his tone to sound very like raspy and air filled, mm. but mm. no, it was ex- like it was really clean and mm. really really articulated, and mm. it was like it sounded clearer than Wood's vocal in one sense. Like the delivery mm. and everything, the the volume and everything was again, and this all plays into the mix and everything as well. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't just like. <sighs> You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. was power behind that vocal. Uh-huh. Very strong vocal. And I really liked when Woods came in. Mm-hmm. All the mixes changed suddenly, yeah. and the instrumentals changed yeah. too. Yeah. And they added up a piano at the back, like like a chorus piano mm. with the very trebly and mm-hmm. wet yep. at the same time. Yeah. And remember that um, the sudden like quiet. Yeah, thing yeah, yeah. when when Wood started singing and then they bring it back uh-huh. with that thing and was like wow, when he started like coming out with his voice, whoa, it's just like something just came in from the sky, yeah. like, you know, like like yeah. an angelic voice. It's it's awesome in. because they all have such distinct vocal styles and yeah. voices. Um, same with like Kamo, right? Because oh, yeah, when Kamo. she came in, like I expected. Uh, I don't know. That was like my first. And even for her section, although it is not like Woods in that, you know, the, mm. there is like different instrumentation mm. and all that. But for her, it was more so the autotune and the harmonization. Yeah. The, the, the yep. double line vocal. Mm. Mm. And, and that also adds character that is different from Gemini. And when that transitions right. to Woods, that's also right. again different. And when they go back to, the, uh, to Gemini's section, the outro... Mm. It feels refreshing yet again. It's like a full cycle. Mm-hmm. No matter where yep. you go, it yep. never feels like, oh, we've heard that before. It mm-hmm. always keeps surprising us because not only are they very, very different and good, mm-hmm. but also because they use different uh, instrumentals and different tricks for each artist so that each section always feels new and refreshing yep yeah yep awesome and on the, and the reverb that was added in the yeah in, yeah, in the yeah, yeah yeah like that very echoey far distant yep. reverb yeah that was really dope I, I i dug that a lot and i think they have done a, a clever thing of making the chord progression not that poppy mm. just like it's kind of on the edge of pop, being a pop music and being a, like underground hip hop music, like they're just in the middle, like yeah, the, j- just for the chord progression. Yeah, yeah. So quite dark it felt too like because of yeah, quite dark too. Yes, yes. And on top of it, if I remember correctly, uh, they had like the harmonization or chorus like at unison mm. with three of them, their vocals together, I think, or either just just Gemini and Woods maybe. Uh, for which so, part? So, uh, when they say like Mia Mia. The chorus. Yeah, the chorus. Yeah, that's the only part that really like the hook part. lets you fully just like take everything in, right? They release yeah, everything yeah. and mm-hmm. it becomes that opening up yeah. section of the song. And, and you know, because there's a lot of staccato y and, and that break like sections yeah. that kind of make you inhale and, and hold your breath, like mm. uh, yeah. that when the chorus hits with that openness. Mm. It's it's such like a relief almost, mm. and there's a sense of like satisfaction mentally mm. too, and mm. it's, a, it's a brilliant uh, I think writing, uh, yeah. music wise. Yeah, it's really nice, mm. and maybe that's why there were uh, that you heard the harmonization, mm. three of them coming in together. I I didn't really notice that because everything else really opened up as well. There was a lot of reverb and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't know you, you could be right, and if that's so, that's 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 cool. All right, so that was. Woods or Gemini's Mia featuring Woods and Kamo. Thank you so much for this suggestion because this is good music. This is really yeah, good. And definitely. it really captured Woods' ability to the to the fullest, I feel like. And although mm-hmm. his section was quite short, obviously it's he's featuring in a song, but it was still very impactful. And all three of them were such wonderful, ta- wonderfully talented artists that, mm-hmm. you know, it was just candy to our ears. And we want more. So if there's like other songs uh, where Woods actually appeared as a featuring artist, please let us know and we'll check those out as well. And I guess that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.
Lindsay. Alicia Stinky. Hello, S. Vivi. Oui, oui. Bella Pereira. Link One. Angela. K. Dot. Alphabet MB. Sang E. Wishy. A fans. Millie. Kilifa. Mill. Oxy the Mouse. Pascal. Aaron M. Aris underscore. Bug. Lily. 